Hey, I'm Skyler, and I, I just figured out how to set up my iPad as a logic controller for the first time. This application Touch OSC made it really pretty easy. I had some difficulty figuring out because I'm not a pro with Logic Pro, but in the end I got it working and if all things go right, you should be able to do it too in the next five minutes or so. So head to the App Store and get yourself a copy of Touch OSC. It cost me $4.99. Tap install, in my case open, and the first thing you see will be this screen, Touch OSC Connections. So tap OSC Disable, this one right here. By the way, I've already got Logic Pro open, and I've opened the demo project. Now I'm just going to switch this to Enabled. Last piece that I want to make sure you've done as well is connect your iPad and your Mac with a USB cable. Now, as soon as I turned on that enabled switch, Logic Pro popped up a window and said it's detected a new OSC device and it asked me if I want to set it up. I'm just going to click add. Okay. So that appears to have set it up correctly. And if everything is correct, then we can go over to the main window of Logic Pro and get cracking. There we go. So I just tapped play on the control surface, tap stop on the control surface, and it worked. So I'm going to tap play. And my system was totally overloaded by that. <laughs> but you totally got to see it in action. And if I weren't doing a screen recording, I would still be jamming out. So I hope you guys have a blast playing with this. It was really fun for me. Have a good one. I'm Skyler.